So I'm going to be putting hatches on the back here. They come with the little dry bag, sealed top. If you want it to throw your keys, your wallet, whatever in there. And you just spin the lid. Like that, then it's safe. Pretty basic. I'll show you how I do it here. Here's some of the tools we're going to use. Star head screwdriver, 3 8 wrench, some silicone, some pens for marking. I think that's a 3 16 drill bit. I use this drill bit. Drill it here just to start the hole. And then I use a good old jigsaw. Putting it on uh, for this model of kayak is a Santa Cruz. These already come with a uh, section for it. So I was trying to figure out how do I get the perfect, the perfect uh, hole drilled and what size. So yeah, I like trying to figure out what size to drill because it tapers out wider the circle here. After playing around measuring, I realized if I take this lid and I put the lid upside down and circle the outside of it, it's actually the size you need to drill, to drill. So make sure you center it so it doesn't rub up against the sides, the higher point. I'll mark it here. So there's where it's going to go. Any size here just to get the blade started. The jigsaw. It's always scary drilling into your kayaks. But I've done it a couple times. Take, I'll go to the inside of the line, always safer. Always save that. If you get a crack somewhere, this, you can melt, warm the two surfaces up and you can re-weld the cracks. Same material, always keep that. They'll bond very well together. Scrape the edge of the, because it's sort of, when you, when you cut plastic, it kind of melts too, so it sticks. You scrape it up clean. check spot on dead on nice nice so I just want to get this nice and clean here so it sits flat drop it in place then I'm gonna mark where all the screws will go. Then I'll change my drill bit to a whatever size the screws are, but 3 16 fits good.
I mean, you don't really have to mark them. If, if you do it this way, you don't need to mark it. I'll show you what I mean here. So now I, I get one in, drill a second hole. Now it's not going to move on me when I drill the holes. Drill the rest. These hatches also look nice too. I've noticed it adds some bling, some bling bling to the kayak. But it's, they're also very good for. Uh, putting your wallet or keys that's what I like especially the wallet that one thing you don't want to lose if you flip okay so I like to push them all in just to make sure so they are they're all gonna fit I'll take them out now and I get the clear silicone or sorry silicone clear put it all around You don't need too much. You'll end up making a mess, but enough to seal it. And even if you didn't seal it, it's not gonna it's not gonna take on much water, but no water is better. Pop these back in. Don't lose them. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out the best way to mark it. On by hand first. Get them started. And they're, they're, they're locking style, so you can only go so tight until you put a ratchet on it. Okay, so I have the nuts on, the inside all on. Now I just take the ratchet, or the wrench, get the wrench in there, tighten them all down. Don't go too tight, you'll crack the gut, you'll crack it. So after you snug them, tighten them all up, come back and snug each one up tighter. And then before, before that sealant dries, just wipe off what's pushed out the edges. That's why you don't use too much, you'll make a mess. Like I say, keep these. If you ever have a crack across, say here, you warm it up and you can melt it. It's great for welding and plastic welding. That's why a lot of guys can't plastic weld, because they're not using the right plastics to, to bond together, because certain plastics won't stick with the other plastics, but that's a whole other thing. And that's it, drops in like that. If you want it to throw, 
So your wallet, you drop your wallet in there, it's good. All right. Those go on good, stay good and tight. Here, I'll give you a closer look. And you could even tie the pouch up if you want it to just close it. And they spin on. Pretty, uh, pretty fancy, eh? It also looks really good. I find it adds a little bit to the kayak. Like I said, this is on the uh, Santa Cruz. The Raptor G1. Sweet kayak, very stable, paddles nice. Light, 70 something pounds I think. So there you have it. A quick how-to. Bling bling. Well thanks for watching. Take care.